Hi, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. And today's video is about all my electrical appliances that I take with me when RVing. Here we go. Hi there, you have found the Crafty Traveler channel. My name is Lonnie and I'm a 71 year old female who loves to camp and travel. I travel with my little schnauzer Snickers who can be a bit noisy at times. We love to go to the desert in the winter, the mountains in the summer, the seashore whenever we can. Sometimes I travel alone and other times I love to travel with a group. I belong to a wonderful group of ladies that love to camp and have a good time. We do activities like painting. Sometimes I do sewing tutorials. I love to visit quilt shops, go to quilt retreats, and quilt shows. Come along and follow us comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and see where we go next. Thanks for watching. Hi. I'm sure you like to take your electrical appliances with you and so do I. I don't have much solar so I really can't use these appliances just out boondocking. I have to use them when I have shore power. In the next trip I'm taking I'll be gone about 42 days and about half of that time I will be plugged into shore power either at a friend's house or RV parks. So then I can use these appliances and save on my propane and solar power. One of the first things is my little electric heater. I bought that a little while ago and it's safe enough that I could probably keep it on during the night. It's got a remote and I can turn it on, turn it off and even adjust the temperature. So when I'm plugged into shore power, I'll stay nice and warm. Those plugs up there are plugged in for my electric blanket. So I will be using that when I'm on shore power. Now I can plug into my Blue Eddy and use maybe half of the electric blanket so Snickers and I can be warm. And I can use solar or uh, generator or 110 to charge my Blue Eddy. And of course my microwave I can use on shore power. And I do a lot of cooking with my microwave. My refrigerator is on shore power right now. But it can be used with propane also. But when plugged in, I want to save the propane for boondocking. Over the bed, I have a TV and a Blu-ray. And I can use those when I'm on shore power. I can leave and lay in bed and watch a movie. Or if TV stations are close by, I can get into them. Up above the cab, I have a larger TV. And this is actually a little computer. And if I have good enough Wi-Fi, I can go see my premium stations and watch movies or even get on YouTube. And of course, I have another Blu-ray here so I can watch movies. But I have to use all these appliances on shore power. Here are some other things I have. I have a little rice cooker. But you know what? This is actually 12 volt, so I can plug it into one of my 12 volt plugs, and I have four of them. I have one over the bed, I have one here by the dinette, and I have two in the cab, so I can cook rice with this. I have a little teapot that's electric that I can plug in. I can also use this with a generator if I really wanted to. Of course, you know I like to sew, and I have a little iron that I can use when I'm sewing. And I just bought this little iron steamer. The brand name is Reliable Steam Iron, 
I bought it on sale at Missouri Star Quilt Company, but I bet you could find it on Amazon too. With this little steamer iron, it uh, comes with a little carrying pouch or storage pouch. Comes with a little cup to add water, and they do recommend that you add distilled water, which I usually have because I use it in my CPAP. It comes with a lint thing so you can put this on there you snap it on the front and you can steam and also wipe the lint off your clothes don't have that much use for that out camping but you never know it also comes with another little guard that you can use it's a brush and of course the instruction book here's a little clip I did when I tried to steam out the wrinkles in my front uh, curtain. I've plugged it in. It's warming up. I've put distilled water in. I always have distilled water because I use distilled water in my CPAP. So I'm going to let it warm up and steam my curtains. See how it works. Okay, I'm going to try and iron and steam these wrinkles out of this curtain. That means it's starting to produce steam. And I can also kind of iron it. And it will iron in a horizontal or a vertical position. Starting to steam it out. Wrinkles are getting less wrinkled, lighter. That's good. I'm going to have to work on this a little bit, I think, to get most all the wrinkles out. So that's my little steamer iron I just got. I've only used it the one time to try and steam out the wrinkles in my big curtain here in the front. But we'll see how it works when I'm sewing. I have an air fryer that I'm going to use when I'm plugged into shore power. I have an electric grill fry pan that I have used when I'm on shore power. I have an induction cooktop that I can even use when I'm on shore power. That way I can save my propane, my propane stove. And I can even plug these in outside if I want to, to cook with. And of course, my trusty sewing machine. Gotta have that. Gotta have it for sewing those projects up. But I have to use shore power to use that. So those are the electric appliances that I like to take with me when I know I'm going to be having shore power. Saves on the propane. Saves on the solar, because I can't use most of these with solar anyway. I also take my laptop with me. Now that I can use um, with the inverter. It doesn't take up too much power. So if you're going to go camping and you know you're going to have shore power, you can take a few electric appliances. Just have to find a place to put them all. <laughs> Luckily, I have places for these. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe, and stay crafty, safe, creative, and smart. Thanks for watching.